Yes, guys, welcome back to the channel as always. So guys, as you can see on the screen right now, in this video, we're gonna talk about the sandbox. There's no introduction needed, guys. I wanna talk about this cryptocurrency game and general just game into the future. No, you know, we don't even know it's crypto in the future, but I wanna talk about this game for a few reasons, guys, because I think, um, I think the sandbox in general has massive potential to bring crypto to the masses through gaming. I've said that on the channel a million times. I think gaming is gonna be that. Uh, that avenue where crypto gets big. Also, I'm gonna do a full tutorial of this game because this is an investment as well, guys. The, at the end of the day, we do trading, we do investments in crypto, but this game is like that. They, there's real game assets, there's real in-game value, there's NFTs, uh, they've got the SAN token, which is now integrated with some other stuff, which I wanna tell you about it in this video. But overall, I've got, I've got to talk into the microphone, but overall, guys, I think there is massive potential here. So in this video, we're going to do a tutorial and I'm going to give you my verdict on what's going on. So um, just for any, if, just for if you don't know what this game is, guys, the sandbox is, it's built on Ethereum. Uh, they use it, well, they use Ethereum to back the, the items within the game. The actual gameplay isn't really built on any blockchain. You know, this is kind of, you know, anyone can download the Vox editor, the marketplace and the game maker. You can play it on any device, but all of the items will be traded as an ERC20 token, which is Ethereum. Um, so let's go through it. So it says, uh, welcome to the sandbox. The sandbox is a community driven platform where creators can monetize voxel assets and gaming experience on the blockchain so to kind of like summarize it real quick before we get into more technical stuff um there's land there's a there's sand and there's a fund right so it's very similar to minecraft i'm putting it on the screen now it kind of has the same kind of minecraft feel to it um but all of the items say say on minecraft imagine all of the all the stuff you mined actually was a real life item it's like that but you can build games within games very similar to minecraft but every asset's gonna have it's kind of a, a more advanced version of Minecraft, if you like, um, with the items actually having real life value built on a blockchain. Uh, and they built their own Vox editor, marketplace gameplay. Like I said, I put something on the screen. Overall, guys, I highly recommend checking this game out. Um, there is a link I can put, I'll put my link below as well. If you use that link to sign up, it helps support the channel. But guys, that's not what this video is about. This is more of a full-blown tutorial about people who don't know what's going on and how, what, you know, what this is going to be about. You can see here, guys, the amount of partners is ridiculous. And like Oprah, they've got like Atari, da -da -da, you name it, guys. All the partners are great. Um, so the first thing it says here on the, on the left is you've got the shop. In the shop, you can buy items, guys. So you can buy characters, you can buy swords. Guys, you name it. <laughs> the list goes on. This is going to be like a everything, anything kind of store, uh, what you can use in the game. So you can customize your characters, all that kind of stuff. And then these characters will be unique. So like whatever you buy will be an NFT. So, you know, if someone else wants to buy it for you and it's unique, they, they're going to give you a price for that. That's where the marketplace comes in. And here, as you see here, guys, it says rarity. You can click all on rarity. You can go on animals. You guys, you name it. The list goes on and on. It's like this. there's going to be so much stuff in here. Like any game, <laughs> like any kind of game you can play, you're going to have this kind of stuff. So that's kind of like the, the shop there as well. So the way you create games, um, you can do it on, so you've got the Vox editors. So this is where you create your own items, right, to sell in the marketplace. Windows, Mac, Linux, you name it, guys. You can download this. Uh, develop is, you know, probably if you're a developer, this is going to be good for you. You've got your modular, your animator, and your block editor. Uh, and here you can go in and create that kind of stuff. And then, guys, you can click play as well. So it's not actually like, you know, it's, it's still in the, I think it's in the alpha stages, like kind of, um, you know, they're kind of getting all the, the main launch ready. Um, but overall, guys, yeah, you can see here, um, you guys can kind of come and do this. It's play to earn as well, obviously, because you can, when you, when you play the game, you level up, and then the more you level up, the more items are going to occur and then the more value they're going to have and the more you know all that kind of stuff so uh really really cool you can come watch these videos as well but let's get on to the really interesting stuff guys so let's have a look at the map so guys here's the map and this is when the investment side comes into it and this is the part which is really exciting for someone like me who's been in crypto for a while investing in crypto assets also games are going to be very similar to that because games are going to have their own in-game economies as well um so there's going to be just as just as good at investments in inside games as in the real world maybe they won't be as lucrative but you know these games get absolutely massive but yeah as i was saying you know some of these games say like you know uh warzone or minecraft or like call of duty that these games um get are so big now that if you got good at those games you know and there, there was an in-game item which you know one rareable in-game item you could loot with someone would buy it off you could probably sell it for millions of dollars guys 
because gaming is a massive industry. So this is the map, guys. So every single plot has its own little, like, unique kind of area in the map. It's very interesting to see as well because you've got some um, areas, like, these are very new up here. Like, there hasn't been many um, land masses opened up recently. You can see it says sold out, sold out at the top right. Um, but you can see here that um, you've got Atari in the middle. You've got Roller Coaster Tycoon. You've got all these different game games companies. Um, you've got something which looks like the like Illuminati eye here of the dollar. Uh, you've got loads of these different um, little plots you can go and get. You've got Pong here as well, FTX, you know, you name it, guys. Anyone can come and buy a plot. It costs like 30 bucks, I think, to get one right now, depending on the size. But you can see that Binance, which is an exchange, is buying up plots. And think about it this way, guys. If you buy a plot and then, you know, around that plot, loads of stuff happens, like loads of in-game things are built. Because if, if you click on these actual land masses, guys, you can see that eventually you're going to be able to go into these land masses and actually play games within them. So, like I said, like Minecraft, um, you, you run around this open map. Think about that open map, but every single area was owned by somebody and then they could build what they want on top of that area. And then you can go and interact with it, play games on it and that kind of stuff. It's pretty darn insane, guys, the, the, how far this can go. This is only the very beginning as well. Um, so, yeah, just, just want to go back a step. So this is the investment side. So if you buy these land, these like land masses and then someone else wants to come and, you know, a big game wants to come and like buy your plot because they want that area, you can then sell it to them and you can sell it to a profit. And a lot of these people are probably going to buy up land uh, and then hold it for a long time. Like the sandbox have got all these designated spots, got the roller coaster tycoon world, which is there. And it is, this is, is uh, this is an viable investment, guys. Like if you invest into these games, there is going to be potential for return on investment depending on how big the game is and i believe that this game has big potential so it could do really well guys so that's the land area guys um if you couldn't really see it because my my face is in the way but fine but you can get the gist guys come and check it out so now i want to talk about the sand guys because this is another investment side of it which is very very interesting to me um, so the sand token is the utility token for the platform. Uh, you're gonna do, you're gonna trade with it. You're gonna buy and sell. You're gonna use it to burn, whatever. There's gonna be a whole ecosystem of different kind of tools you're gonna use, and it's built on ERC20. And what it says here, you can buy sand and you can stake sand. Now this is really interesting, guys, because. Um, what they're doing is that the sand token is uh, on load of exchanges now it's on Binance and stuff but as you see it says here guys it says stake sand um, with a fit on, on the ETH Uniswap V2 tokens to earn rewards so right now guys this game is using the Uniswap um, automated um, automated market makers exchange for easy liquidity so you can buy and sell tokens at, at, at one touch at one click they've actually integrated this into their game guys and this is for this is two reasons very exciting in my opinion firstly this is going to bring more liquidity to the sand token because we all know that uniswap is very easy liquid i've said on the channel from the very beginning guys um people aren't going to go on exchanges and buy and sell tokens guys the masses it's just not going to happen that's not everyone's a trader so these kind of buy and sell easy automated market maker um, algorithms which do it for you is a one clock shop one click shop to get tokens this is what's going to bring mass adoption but Think about it this way, guys. If you invest now in the SAN token and then lock it up in Uniswap, you're then going to get a, a, a dividend for that because you're creating liquidity in the pools because it's an automated market maker. There's liquidity pools. You're actually going to get a dividend for that. And it's actually built into this game. So if you invest in the SAN token uh, and you stake in Uniswap, you're going to get probably just people who have no idea of what Uniswap is or whatever that is coming in here and just selecting it, clicking, yes, I want to put this in here, claim SAN, approve it, da -da -da. putting SAND into this to get that yield because they're just, they're just going to look at it and say, oh, it's a yield, I'm going to take it. And then you think about it, guys, it's going to bring, like, if, if, if this game gets big, you're going to see massive, massive amounts of people doing that. And then in turn, it's going to make Uniswap better. It's going to create more liquidity of the sand token. And guys, the, the cycle goes round again and again and again. And the, the as the liquidity pools grow, uh, more people want to join into it. And then you can see the sand token being a base uh, for other transactions as well outside of this game. So it can get really crazy because the, the tokens within these type of games can live without outside of the game at some point um think about um like uh say fifa points right right now fifa points are completely restricted to fifa but imagine if uh you went to a store right and there was a really easy way to trade uh different tokens with uniswap but you had it on your phone uh, the guy behind the store might say all right i'll trade this mars bar for fifa points like that could happen in the future if the liquidity is there and it's easy enough for that medium exchange that unit account that that easy change if it could be actually if the if the, if the money side of it could actually be kind of uh put into reality so really really interesting guys i'm bang on this game man i think this game is going to really kill it and like i said there's the investment side with the sand there's also the investment side with the the, the plots 
And I think, uh, you know, with Atari getting on board, I actually bought some of the Atari tokens um, because they're getting involved. They've actually partnered with Ultra as well. So I see a lot of potential here, guys. And I think that uh, you guys should check it out. So that's kind of all I wanted to go through, guys. Like I say, like, subscribe, hit the bell if you want to keep getting this kind of content. Uh, and, and tell me if you invest in this game and use my link below. Uh, help support the channel as well. So see you later, guys. You're all legends. Have a good day, guys. Cheers. Bye.